It's always a fun day getting ready for an install. I've you know, made the railings, test fit the railings, and shipped them off for powder coating. And they've even done so much just to deliver them for me. So I'm heading up there right now with my new girl that I've hired, Jenny. She's gonna help me, it's her first install with me. I'm really excited to get her out there. But we're gonna load up my tools. So what is it that Rachel needs when doing an install? Um, all of it is going into the, the concrete. So my hammer drill. I love this hammer drill. It works so, so well. Uh, I will need my drill, because you never know when you need to drill extra holes into things. I need my driver. My driver will be for putting in all bolts, anchors, all the screws and hardware that I need. I always bring a grinder, because you just never know in case something needs to be fiddled with. Even though I did test fit these, and they should fit perfectly, so I'm really excited for that. Um, what else does Gal need? I think that's pretty much everything I need for my installs. I have all my boxes of hardware. I'm going to take like five batteries. I have a small battery charger I'll bring, but usually uh, my five batteries will be enough. And I also will be taking a couple different levels and squares because I'm doing an adjacent house, some extra railing there. So I have to get all my measurements. And so I'm going to grab those things. So a couple of my extra favorite tools that I like to bring for when I'm doing any kind of hand railing, I always have levels and those are fine, but to have these additional levels that I have, this one's a digital level, so when I'm doing anything that has slopes on it, I can make sure that I'm getting the proper slope. And even sometimes, you know, working on any kind of house, any kind of anything that's been built, you do want to check and make sure that, you know, you're at a 90 degree because sometimes you're off and so when I build things I want them to be perfectly matched to have the house or to the side of the wall or whatever it is that you're matching things to so you know if something's gonna be 86 degrees instead of 90 degrees I want to make sure that I have that so this digital level is really great and then for getting other angles around things um, having this other um, this other digital level is great because you can get your level you know that one you just put on something and you get the level this one at least you can you know, if you're getting an angle of, of an exterior deck and it's not a 90, then you get that exact angle that you need so you know which angle to build the railings at. Uh, so those are two very important tools that I like to bring along with me. And I can count, I have one, two, three, four tape measures in here. So that should be enough for me to get going on what I'm doing. Okay, all my tools loaded up, ready to go. I'm not going far, so I'm just gonna leave all my tools here uh, in the back of my truck. It's just so much easier than putting them into the cab of my truck, which I do when I know I'm going to be having to stop in places where my tools will get left alone. This case they won't, so I have everything I need. Uh, then nothing's gonna really rattle around too much back here. I've got a um, kind of a strap back there. that will keep anything from moving around. But now I can get to this railing install and this is my favorite kind of day, is the finished product of a job, of how much work you put into these things, and then you get it all up, and you get to look at it, and you get to do it in the sunshine. So even better. So off I go from railing install day. Yes, 
The, these bits to steal because they'll mess up the bits, they'll pull up the bits. So, I mean, these ones have, I think there's something I bought that can be kind of like a little bit bar, um, but for the most part, you just can't have the bits. <laughs> I might there. have some somewhere in the mess of my truck.
sure that it's like sitting flat. And then, so when I do them, because you have like your three corners, so yeah, I'll put one corner in, then I'll do the other corner, then I'll do the other corner, so then you know nothing's gonna to move around. These are the anchors. So these ones, you actually drill a hole and then you put a sleeve inside it, and then you put like a, a where you like hammer it in. You put a washer in a nut. I don't like those because they're pain. So for one, like I find that these ones snap a lot. But yeah, and these ones are just easier to to place as well. Yeah, because yeah, those are just hammering them in, and then if you hammer them in too far, or then the washer nut falls off, and then you can't get it to come back out.
Okay, so I'm gonna, yeah, it goes just like so. Uh, how close to what are we? Well, I mean, it, I think it was four inches from the inside. Inside. I mean, two and a half inches of space in here. Gate in. So I and then also when you're putting in these these anchors or uh, these bolts here, mm -hmm. you want to have them not close to the edge because okay, concrete's yeah. always weak on the edge. Yeah, yeah. So trying to keep it to come out a bit. Have the air here. You know, I'm happy with that. Because then the other one will get butted up onto the side, and it's actually, I'd have it so it's extended, so it's going to come out to right here. So it should be in line with that one. Okay. Let's make peace with this spot. All
exactly why I work out so much. <laughs> yeah, right? redoing recoding it okay so they'll I've already screwed in where the one bracket will go okay. and then we have to have something attached to the ground up there okay. your first railing install Yay. how does it feel pretty damn good amazing okay we got two out of the three in now we get some muscle
Oh, I'm gonna live here now. <laughs> Bang on, you guys. I love it. Thank you so much. So my only issue is that when you're doing when you're doing railings, they're supposed to extend one inch past the nozzle line. Okay, so this okay, yeah. technically should have gone past that way. But when I think about it, because there's going to be a gate here, that actually gives us enough space. So, so all is well. Good. Um, the make sure. So it's like I planned that. <laughs> And so then also, when you're putting in a handbar, you always have to have two and a half inch spacing with your, like, it would like your wall or whatever, whatever you're hitting at. Gotcha. But he wanted this to be a little bit, if, if for any reason this is too much, we have to just move that right because this is more than four, not actually five. Gotcha. So this should have probably been out one more inch. Yeah. But again, because there's a gate going here, I didn't think that would matter. So we can drill, drill. the holes, yeah, and then put all them screws in. They should all. I think this should line up. And that's just gonna stick for a little bit. Close off. 